It's like anything, guys. Tradition dies. It dies easy. Tradition is hard to establish. You keep hearing me say this. The drumbeat's going to continue. It's hard to establish. It dies quick. It dies as soon as someone says it's not worth talking about anymore. Okay? Now, if you were Todd Beamer's mom and dad, you'd never forget, would you? You'd always remember. What if you were his wife? Kids. Did you ever forget what he did? Did you ever forget that moment, that day and time? You never forget it. And for us here at Wheaton, it's something that I don't want you guys to forget. And I'm not saying we are as connected and in tune as his immediate family. But there is a certain bond, guys. I can remember Todd Beamer sitting in my office. Okay? He wasn't a football player. He was here to talk about training, strength training. I can remember sitting there just like you guys right now. I remember him. Okay? And the guy got out in business, and he was flying on a, a transcontinental trip from the East Coast to the West Coast. He gets on an airplane, his wife kisses him goodbye, he says goodbye to his couple kids, and to him it's just another day. Okay, you guys know the story, and you know the story well. He's on the airplane, and the guy's in the, the old AT&T phones, and he calls the AT&T operator, and he explains to them that's how they were able to make that movie, because he called them up and he explained to them the details of what was happening, and then he didn't hang the phone up. He just left the phone laying on the table. And you guys know what had happened. What would have happened was obviously that these guys overtook the plane and they wanted to redirect the plane. They wanted to redirect the plane back to the White House or back to some building in Washington, D.C. Okay? And so these guys in, uh, are they're starting to create a plan. They're starting to create some sort of a ruckus on the plane. And he and a few other guys say, not going to happen. Okay? Not going to happen. We're not going to go down this way. If we're going to go down, we're going to take someone down with us, and we're going to go down where we want to go down. And so he's explaining this stuff to this AT&T operator, okay? That this is the plan. Here's what they decided they're going to do, all right? Now, the other thing to remember, this term, let's roll, was what he would say to his two little boys. You can see him on that engraved in that Beamer Center. You go in there, he's got his hands with his two boys. And before they leave, his wife would always say, before they go out to play ball or just go to a game or do something, he'd always say, hey, fellas, let's roll. Let's roll me. Hey, we're all ready. We're ready. We're all in. Let's go. Time to go. Let's roll. And that's the last thing that they hear him saying before they hear the commotion. Let's roll. In that context, here's let's roll. Here's what it meant. Okay? Here's what let's roll meant. Let's roll meant... I'm ready, and I'm going to do my job. He and the three or four other guys. I'm ready, and I'm going to do my job. You can count on me to do my job. And this cause will be more important than my survival. That's ultimately what they were saying. Let's roll. I got something I'm going to do. We're going to get this thing down, and that's more important than me living. It's probably a pretty terrifying moment. But what I am saying philosophically, it's the same deal. That's why I had those signs put up there. That's why I had them put up in this room right here, not in our other one, for us to slap everything out of the out of the practice field. Let's roll means we're going into a known battle right now. And when you walk out of here, you hit that sign, you're saying, I know I'm going into a battle. I know I've been given a job. I have an assignment. You can count on me to do my assignment, and my assignment and this cause trumps my survival. The bottom line is, you all got a job. That's what he was saying. And the last words his wife ever heard him say, I'm the call. Let's roll. Think about that moment. He was going down. No! You're not going to die out here, okay? But it could be difficult. It could be really difficult in a lot of ways. It could be swallowing your pride. It could be playing hurt. It could be playing frustrated. It could be tired. It could be all those things. But what you're saying when you hit that thing is, I'm good. I'm in. Let's roll.